Hi, everybody. My name is Lisa Askelis Inventress. My business is Inventing A to Z. At Inventing A to Z, I work with clients to take their products from concept to fruition, from a napkin idea all the way to the marketplace and everything in between the right way. If you want to contact me, email me, Lisa at Inventing A to Z dot com. My website, Inventing A to Z dot com. Hi, everybody. I'm Lisa Askley, the Inventress. Welcome to my podcast. Everybody, I'm Lisa Askelis, the Inventress. Welcome to the Inventress Podcast. I'm so excited today because I have a guest on who's going to make your head spin. She is a best-selling author of uh, Protected by Purpose. She's CEO and founder of Cultural uh, Solutions Group and just an amazing woman with so many accolades. It would probably take me about an hour to make the introduction. Dorinda, welcome to our podcast. Thank you, Lisa. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Yes. How are you? How are you doing in this crazy world we're in today? Um, you know what? I'm coping. I'm trying to stay busy. Mm-hmm. I am uh, readapting because my plans at the top of 2020 were certainly not, as I would say, God's plans. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm new to entrepreneurship, so I had to reshift and refocus um, but I'm doing good, and um, you know things are as good as they can be in this new normal. Yes, it is the new normal. It it certainly is. But I'm I'm glad that you're doing what you need to do. To I know you got some things going on, but we're going to give that all to God, right? Yes, we are. And and pray about anything and and all the people on the front line who are protecting our families when God forbid we have to go into uh, emergency situations and praying for all of your family. Thank you. My children uh, are all service workers on the front line. Are they really? Yeah, my daughter is uh, a manager at Home Depot. My son works at Amazon, and I have another son that works at FedEx part-time. So uh, they're all on the front lines. And my husband is at high risk because he has a history of congestive heart failure. Mm. And, um, you know, so it's, it's kind of making me nervous, but I'm staying prayed up. Yes, you are, and that's what you yeah. got. Yeah. We have to keep the faith, right? Yep, yes, we do. Always keep the faith. Well, you have so much going on right now. I mean, I want to hear about, you, you've done so many things. You have so many great accolades. You are a, a keynote speaker nationwide, pretty much. You were CEO of a, your Fortune 500 companies. And you just, I mean, you've survived so many things, so many battles and overcame so many obstacles. And you're just such a positive person. And um, this is what the world needs, Dorinda. You are an inspiration to me. I read your story and I was like, oh my gosh. I know I met you years ago and kind of touched, you know, skimmed the surface, I think, when you were working at Prudential. Um, but now I'm I'm seeing so many of the things that you do. And, and you're just, again, as I said, just a trailblazer. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what you're doing with Cultural uh, Solutions Group. So sure. So first, I want to say I wasn't the CEO of Fortune 500, but I'm glad you proclaimed it for me um, because my plan is to build my company into a billion dollar business. Um, well, so you just for- proclaimed that. You just spoke that into <laughs> existence. I did, but I yeah. There you go. So Cultural Solutions Group. Uh, We help uh, Fortune 500 companies develop strategies to engage women and diverse consumers, both on a a workplace uh, side and a talent side. Um, So I should say marketplace and talent uh, side. So helping them create strategies to engage a diverse workforce and then helping them create marketing initiatives to grow business and revenue among women and diverse consumers. It's essentially what I did for Prudential. I just turned it into my own business. Um, I got I came to the realization in 2019 that if I could create $100 million in life insurance and annuity revenue for a Fortune 500, I can certainly do it for myself. 
Amen. And I, I just want to share my story because I think this will inspire some people. Please. So I, I created my job in a Fortune 50 company on a GED education. And I was fortunate enough to make it to the vice president ranks. I was fortunate enough to manage a $12 million budget and staff and create, you know, uh, award-winning multicultural marketing campaigns and really live a life of, of purpose at that time. And in 2018, uh, my book launch, Protected by Purpose. And my book is all about my life story, how I went from a, a young girl with low self-esteem, no morals, no integrity, selling drugs, spending time in a, in a psychiatric unit, to propelling to one of the most well-known executives in the country. <laughs> and at the height of my you know, at the height of my career, the organization decided that they were going to make some organizational changes and they put me in a new department with a new title and new position and I hated it. Isn't that something? And Everybody on the outside looking in was saying, you know, she got it going on. Yes. You know, she's traveling all over the world to different, you know, countries promoting her book. She's a, this, you know, vice president that's well known, is doing great things. But I spiraled into a depression because I, I had come to hate going to work. Mm -hmm. And I kept praying about it. And my good friend D. Marshall gave me a book. Um, and it was a, a book of prayers for women in uh, corporate America, and it, the title of it was Jesus Fix It. So it was mm -hmm. a prayer for any kind of circumstance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to go through in corporate America. And one day I woke up, and God said, who are you and who do you work for? I love it. And so that was the impetus for me to say, okay, I need to negotiate a retirement because I had 20 years of service. And... I need to go because, um, you know, God is opening a new door of opportunity for me. That's right. And you listened. So you were 20 years at Prudential. 20 years. That's I started incredible. out at the temp. My gosh. And you climbed your way up. Climbed my way up. And um, I was fortunate. You know, we talk a lot about agile leadership and, you know, leaders of the next generation. I think I was a little ahead of my time. But one of the things that I credit my career success for is the fact that I was able to to overcome so much adversity. It allowed me to be a great leader. You, you know what? And I want to speak to that, Dorinda. How did you overcome? Where did you gain the strength? I mean, there, there's so much history and, and um, not so positive history as you talked about, you know, selling drugs and just being coming from an abusive family, et cetera. How did you gain the strength to get to where you are today? You know what? Just through living life and learning from the experiences that I've lived through and being grateful for those experiences and letting go of the shame mm -hmm. and learning how to forgive myself mm -hmm. and others and finding my faith. I think that was the biggest yeah. component of it finding my faith because that allowed me to live authentically uh, as who I am and not fear other people's judgment, not fear having to keep up with the Joneses, not fear wanting, not, not getting those feelings of envy and jealousy wanting what someone else has. What I learned is that what the blessings that God has for you are yours and the blessing that he has for me is are mine. And so it allowed me to just live authentically. And I was just going to say it. You took the words right out of my mouth. And that does it. You know, God made you, you, your authentic self. And you came to the realization that you are great. You're a wonderful person. You do have purpose. And um, I mean, hence the reason protected by purpose. Uh, your best selling, I believe it's a best selling author. I skim through some of it. It's incredible. And it's still, is it this on Amazon, by the way? It's on Amazon, yes. Okay, so everybody out there listening, you must pick up this book. Purchase the book on Amazon, Protected by Purpose. Um, are you selling it on your website also, Dorinda? Yes, you can get to the Amazon link through my website. Okay, perfect, perfect. So it's on BarnesandNoble.com, Target, uh, a few other places, but Amazon is the most the easiest place to get it. That's, that's awesome, and what an inspiration. As I'm reading, I couldn't stop reading it, and... Uh, 
Thank you for putting that out there. And so many, everybody's going to gain from it, not just women, everybody, everybody. I'm so lifted up today and inspired. Just, you know, the whole thing, the whole, your background and, and all of these things. So let's walk through a little bit of what you're doing now with the training. Absolutely. So when I left corporate America and I shared my story, I was bombarded by women, not just women, but majority, mm -hmm. who were who made it to the executive ranks and they're like, I want to leave, I'm not happy, um, or who were let go and struggled with their identity because it was so tied to their title. And they kept asking me to coach. And I would take all these calls and just, you know, give advice to people and try to coach them through, you know, their feelings and their next steps. And my friend said, Dorinda, do you know people pay for that? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, they do. You are giving away your time and your talent, mm -hmm. and you need to get it together. <laughs> That's your heart, girl. You got a big heart, and you want to share. Yeah, so I was re very reluctant. I didn't want to do it. But I decided to go get uh, certified as a John Maxwell trainer, speaker, and coach. That is and then amazing. I've, I've taken some other um, coaching classes, and my good friend, who's a master coach, he invited me to this awesome transformational coaching session. It was very intensive over the weekend, 12 hours a day. Jeez. And the last day, I said, okay, God, I get, I get it. This is what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Because when I was thinking about it, well, I don't want to just coach people on how to get a new job or to coach people, you know, on um, what's next. But I really want to coach them on transformation, how to how to transform every aspect of their lives so that they're living in, in their in their purpose and from a sense of their core being. Yes. And that's what Cynthia, Sylvia High taught me. And that's when I said I'm going to start my own coaching program. So I spent a lot of time. Um, reading a lot of articles on psychology today and taking what I've learned from my John Maxwell coaching and training. And I launched my own masterclass. Um, it was an eight week masterclass with 12 women. Um, we're winding down right now. It's been an amazing experience. Can't wait to post the reviews on my website, uh. but I really felt like, you know, I changed lives and um, we did it together as a group. Oh my gosh. Um, and it's, it's exciting. So I added that to as a, a, a component mm -hmm. of, of my business. And so I'm excited about it. You know, this is so compelling. And um, if there's a way, first of all, in between, because people are going to be listening in between, how can they, um, what's your website? DorindaWalker.com. Mm -hmm. And your social media? At Dorinda Walker everywhere. Mm-hmm. Perfect, because people need to really go out and listen to you and see what you're doing. Now, you're in the middle of the eight-week class, you said. Are you yeah. winding down? I'm winding down right now. Okay, so this um, is online, Dorinda? It's all online. Okay. We have to do everything virtual now. Mm -hmm. um, but what it is is you have one group meeting a week. There's homework, and then you have a one-on-one -on -one session with me each week. And then there's a, dis a private discussion forum. Um and so it's, it's been very insightful. Uh, what goes on in the group stays in the group. Um, but majority of, like, for, the, for my first session, the, uh, all of the ladies were um, executive women in leadership. Mm -hmm. And so they had a lot in common uh, based on experiences and uh, issues and things like that. Now, how did you pick these women? Or did you, um, yeah, how, did you handpick them? Were they, did you put something out there? For them to I, sign up? Mm -hmm. No, I, I was amazed because I, prom, I, you know, I built the course on my website and promoted it. I get about 10,000 hits to my website, so I get a lot of traffic that way. And then I post it on social media. Mm -hmm. And within a week, I had my 12 women. That is incredible. God bless you. And Thank you. you. And, you know, the time you couldn't be better with everything that's going on. And the communication is so key. So important, and and I'm sure that you're really, um, you're you're livening up all of these women. That that conversation that you're having and the inspiration again couldn't be uh, more timely than now. Thank you, thank you. So what I mean, not going to get into the details of what the assignments are, 
so you do after each uh, session, you give them a homework assignment. Yeah, we we there's a homework assignment because a lot of the things that they need to work on are very personal. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of the things are. I'll never forget when I took that that transformational coaching, there was a a quote that says, what do you know that you're pretending not to know? Mm. Mm. And we we do a lot of that work um, around what what do you know that you're pretending not to know that's holding you back? Mm -hmm. Um, And then, you know, some of the basic principles of, you know, building momentum, of having a plan, of being comfortable with getting uncomfortable. Yes. To take yourself to the next level. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's key. That is key. Drag yourself up by the collar and push yourself in there. Push yourself through it. And then assessing the relationships in your life because a lot of a lot of the uh issues that hold people back and barriers that hold people back are the baggage from relationships. Mm-hmm. Uh whether it's family relationships, you know, uh you know, loving relationships, romantic relationships. Um, sibling relationships, uh, you know, and so when you do the work, you put in the work to really assess Mm -hmm. and figure out, you know, what it is that is keeping you from moving forward. Um, then you have the ammunition you need to set a plan to correct it, uh, to address it. Mm -hmm. See, but this Um, is where you come in because everybody mm -hmm. doesn't know how to do that. Yeah. You know, you could look at your past and say, okay, these terrible things happened to me. How do I get past this? Yeah. And the one good thing about, from my perspective and what, what I've been told about me doing the training, mm-hmm. is I've, I've lived through a lot of it and done the work. Absolutely. You know, that was the question. Like, how did you, I read your story, how did you get through that? You know, you went through a lot. You had some times of depression and and other things that, you know, people can read about in your book. But I, looking at this, I'm saying to myself, could I push through that? I mean, there's so many issues that we've all had. I've had, you know, times of, you know, down times, um, but certainly not as uh, voluminous as yours have been. In, in my life. And, you know, I look and even times when I'm down, I'm going, how am I going to get through this day? How do I get through this day? How do I think about, how do I get past these thoughts that I'm having? And that's difficult. That's difficult. I'm looking, how did you do, what were your first steps, if you don't mind me asking, to get past, now this is years, many years ago we're talking, right? So over 25, 30 years ago um, that you had some of these hurdles. What was the first thing that you did to get past that traumatic experience? You know, you said you said before faith and all that stuff, but how did you put your mind, where did you get the mindset? Or, and the other question is, double question, did you have a mentor, um, somebody who inspired you in your life? I had uh, an aunt and, mm-hmm. and grandmothers who really there believed you go. in me. Yeah, I did. But I was fortunate. I met my husband when I was 18 years old. And he was the one that saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. And he pushed me to push myself. That is awesome. Yeah, that's, yeah. that is a blessing. During yeah. The... And, and you... what I learned mm-hmm. is you, when you have people in your life who are giving you positive affirmations, those are the people you keep in your circle. That's right. And because I had also a lot of people that were telling me that I was never going to be better than my drug, drug addicted parents. Um, and if I had to listen to that, where would I be? That's where you are. That's where you stay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you pushed yourself past that somehow by the grace of God, by your, your, your grandmother, your aunt, I was going to say, because there's always somebody back there. There's got to be somebody back there. Who's taking you out of that, you know, taking you out of that negative space. Yeah. Thank God, by the grace of God. And you and your husband have been married 25 years? Yeah, we got married in 1993. So what is that? 20, it'll be 26 years this year. That's, congratulations. No, wait, it'll be 20, because my daughter will be 29. It'll be, yeah, 27 years. My gosh. <laughs> and we've been together. We were together four years before that, so it was it was crazy. 
So how do you, how does that happen too? Cause you guys are so close. You stayed together all these years and you know how difficult that is these days. Yeah. Um, how, mm-hmm. Honestly, he's my best friend. He is my safe place. He's the one I can rely on, um, consistently. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, marriages have ups and downs, but if you keep perspective, yes. um, and it's particularly when you get kids, because kids can really throw you through a hoop. <laughs> but we, <laughs> we were really uh, intent mm-hmm. on ensuring that our relationship came first. From because the very beginning, before the kids. Yeah, because when the kids are grown and we've done our job, which they are now, and they leave, then we're stuck with each other. So That's we better right. like each other. <laughs> yeah, and in some cases, you have to refine yourself, you know, refine who you were. Because you get lost in your kids. Yeah. How do you go back to who you were? But you you kept that solid and steady. Absolutely. And consistent. Absolutely. Yeah, no, that's really, that's amazing. So, you know, your training course, I'm sure, is going to talk to some of those things, too. Um, I see relationships, uh, looking Absolutely. inward, mm-hmm, looking inward, looking at yourself, and... Um, I actually, I'm very interested in taking one of your classes because um, I see so many and bringing other people in. We'll we'll sign up. We'll sign up. Awesome, awesome. And what I'm also going to do, because a lot of people don't want to commit to the eight weeks, so what I think I'm going to do now is offer uh, many, you know, two-hour training sessions, Mm -hmm. open sessions, um, because I find if people really feel like they got value out of that, then they'll, they'll commit to time and put in the work to do the full eight weeks. Oh, for sure. No. And once they read this, read about you, read your story, they will 100% want to take this course, your mini course, anything that you have to offer. Um, And what I want to say about the book too, because mm -hmm. this was really, um, why my book became such a passion for me. And why I also had the courage to leave corporate America. So many people have written me and said, during the, you know, after reading your book, I was able to call a relative or a friend that I hadn't spoken to for years. And we were working on rebuilding our relationship. And um, I, I implore anyone who's struggling with the process of forgiveness, who's holding on to the shame of their past, to read my book. Um, because I definitely think you'll be inspired by my story. Well, I mean, you talk about forgiveness, and I think that's the biggest thing in life, because when you don't forgive somebody else, you really can't. I, I, I know for me, if I have anything with anybody, it weighs so heavily on my heart. You know? Yeah. It's and forgiveness my, is a process. It is. It yeah, it doesn't happen overnight. It's a mm-hmm. process, but you have to be willing to go through the process. Yes, yes. Well, Dorinda, I, I absolutely so appreciate you being on our show. Um, please everybody go out, get the book protected by purpose and, um, you will enjoy it immensely. You'll be riveted. And, uh, again, Dorinda, shout out to your website one more time. Thank you. Oh, and I want to mention, I am head of women's programming for an organization called Lead 360. It's an organization that's, uh, focused on the advancement of, black professionals at the mid-manager and senior uh, levels. And I host uh, a monthly leader cast on Facebook and Twitter called Lead 360 Her. And it showcases powerful black women who are innovating in various industries. So yes, yeah, be sure to follow uh, Lead 360 Her on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Oh, that is done and done. We will be doing that, Dorinda. Thank you, girl, so much. You're um, welcome. But, Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> but before we part, uh, I usually give uh, three questions to throw you off. They're fun, though. It's very fun. Uh, first of all, if you were in a movie, who would play you? Uh, Rihanna. Okay. I like it. And what would the name of your movie be? Bad to the Bone. Love it. You have these quick answers. And the final one is, if you were in a foxhole, um, and you had to stay in that foxhole, who would you choose 
to be in the foxhole with you cannot be a relative. Um, yeah, can't be a relative. Could be anybody, anything. I would say there's a woman online who I follow who I admire a lot. Her name is Ida B. Wells. Ida B. Wells, okay. And why would she why would she be the one? Um, she is a strong advocate mm -hmm. for diversity and inclusion. Um, she's responsible for the sixteen nineteen project. Uh, I'm, I want to make sure I'm getting her name right. Her name just want yeah, it's Ida Bay Wells. Mm -hmm. um, and her I think her well, she's done. She so well, let me say this. Can we edit this? But <laughs> she's responsible for the sixteen nineteen project. She promotes Ida B Wells, but her name is N Hannah Jones. N Hannah Jones. Okay. N Hannah Jones, but her Twitter tag is Ida B Wells, um, which was named after the the legend legendary uh, pioneer who just got uh, nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize, or she just got was. Uh, she just received it. Um, Incredible. But yeah, she's, she's doing a lot of great work. Her name is N. Hannah Jones. N. Hannah Jones. Well, yeah. we will def I'll definitely take a look at her um, and certainly follow you on Facebook, Lead360 Her. We are <clears throat> there. And how often does this happen? It happens uh, once a month. Okay. And then sometimes we have special editions. So our next edition is June 4th in honor of Black Music Month. Uh, and we have Sheila Eldridge, Deidre Tate, and Nikki Daniels, all who've created uh, and blazed trails uh, in the music industry and made significant impacts on black music. Well, I'm super excited to follow you there and sometime hopefully participate, be a part of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm post boasting myself. I'm pushing oh, this. Absolutely. I will definitely have you on. Um, <laughs> Because we definitely, one of my upcoming episodes, I want to be about uh, uh, entrepreneurship. And I think it'd be great, great, great to talk about that. Thank you so much, Dorinda. Well, listen, thank you again so much for being on the show. You are incredible, amazing, inspiring, all of it. God bless you, and please be safe. And we'll talk thank real you. soon. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. You have a blessed day. You too. Bye. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. You are listening to my special guest, Dorinda Walker, best-selling author, protected by purpose, CEO and founder of Cultural Solutions Group. Just a really super inspiring woman. She also holds a course called Lead 360 Her. Just follow her on Facebook, social media. Uh, she shouted it out before. She's Dorinda Walker at DorindaWalker.com. And, uh, Listen, guys, I just 100% enjoy interviewing these phenomenal people, women, men, and just so proud to be able to share all of their inspiration with you. So if you want to get in touch with me and find out how to be on my podcast, please email info at inventingatoz.com. That's info at inventingatoz.com. My website is inventingatoz.com. Listen, guys, please continue to lift each other up two hands at a time. And sometimes you just got to use your foot. Until next time, peace. Peace.